Time now for Sid Sixera. This is where I got 60 seconds to talk. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. The clip I'm about to show you comes from yesterday's Raptors Blazers game in Toronto. Raptors were warming up after halftime. Now, any Raptors apologist out there will explain it off this way. In sports, disagreements happen all the time. Sure. Real original. But what happened yesterday happened in full view of the cameras. And when they go through what's actually happening with this team, I think yesterday showed you a kind of window into what the deal actually is. And it speaks to bigger issues. Here's what happened. Thaddeus Young, who's in his 20th season, is trying to speak to Scotty Barnes during warm-up. At one point, you can read Young's lips saying, I'm trying to get you ready. Scotty Barnes, reigning NBA Rookie of the Year, who's having a down year across the board, basically, completely disagreed and fired back. Raptors won the game, but I don't care that they won the game. This is an awful look. And if you're looking for reasons why this year has gone south, look no further, because something's going on in that room. It's pretty obvious. J.D. Bunkus from the J.D. Bunkus podcast on Sportsnet 590, the fan 9 to 11 weekdays joins us. J.D., you're going to hear a lot of dissenting opinions on this. I don't care if I'm on an island. The re there's something going on with this team and yesterday we saw it for a second year guy to be firing back publicly at a 20 year vet. I've rarely seen that in any NBA circle, let alone this team. Am I overblowing this? Maybe a touch, but not really. Like, why? Why wouldn't this be a thing that's just fine? If this is fine, why don't you see this on every single team all of the time? You here, don't. Here. It's 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 a rare occurrence especially for you to see a guy like Scotty Barnes, who a year ago was, what, the vibes coordinator of the Toronto Raptors, right? All positive vibes, positive vibes only. Every single commercial that you see of him, it just appears like he is this overly positive, jovial guy. And, yeah, now getting into it with a veteran who is basically there, who's basically to be paid there um, to be a mentor, to be someone who, as that in the video breakdown is saying, I'm just trying to get you ready, I'm just trying to get you ready – uh, Scotty Barnes seems pissed at the idea that he's not ready for this season. I think that he hears the chatter. I think he hears the noise that a lot of people around this city and a lot of people around basketball have questioned the dedication that he had to his game during the offseason. And I think that, yeah, a veteran like Thad Young probably pressing him early on in a ball game or right before a ball game starts might have a little bit of a sensitivity. He might have a little bit of a proclivity to a sensitivity to that. So, yeah, it's definitely something. But I think overall, really what this is, is that frustration is bubbling over with a group that is confused about what their direction is, who is going to be on the team in a couple of weeks from now, and that just sees loss after loss after loss mount up this year. The Barnes thing is interesting, and you brought it up, and just the context for people at home, Doug Smith of the Toronto Star had reported earlier this year that the Raptors weren't thrilled with his off-season conditioning program. That was kind of out there for a moment. It didn't get a lot of traction, shockingly, in this city, because no one wants to say a negative thing about the Raptors. Um, but the Scotty Barnes thing, we got about 30 seconds, J.D. I, I remember not too long ago, Pascal Siakam walked off a court at Madison Square Garden and kind of got into it with Nick Nurse. Now, the culture in that room corrected it, and Pascal's turned into an all-star. What happens here with Scotty? Well, what happened with Pascal? The Raptors capitulated. He became, quote-unquote, the man. And it worked out for the Toronto Raptors. But also, they started winning basketball games. So with Scotty Barnes is, can he still be beside Pascal Siakam and not be the focal point of a team, but continue to develop, grow, and feel like his normal self? And can the Raptors start winning basketball games? Because if they don't, then it's not going to end up with the same result as Pascal. Here, here, J.D. Bunkus, Sportsnet 590, the fan of the J.D. Bunkus podcast, 9 to 11 daily. J.D., listen, I know there's a lot of NFL to get through today. The Leafs had a pretty good weekend. Please carve out some time for this. As a listener of your show, please carve out time. I think this is one of the biggest stories in the city. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. See you, buddy. He's great. Check him out on Twitter.